All right, let's talk about a series that I think I talked about before, but why not talk about it one more time, which is Green Lantern, the animated series. It's kind of funny. I mean, I previously got, well, a few months ago or whatever, I actually got two DV, I got DVD sets of the whole entire series, which I thought it was two seasons. No, it's just one. Are you? I'm still trying to wrap my head around that, being like, what? But it seemed like two seasons to me. It's like, nope, one season. But it seemed like two seasons to me. It's like, nope, one season. It seems like two seasons. It looks like two seasons. And you're telling me it's one big season. Ugh, that still actually hurts my hurts my head. So anyways, while we're talking about it, well, I actually got to revisit it and watch it and... Again, it was a freaking masterpiece. I felt like what I was when I first watched it, but a little bit better because I was able to watch it at one sitting, but I was able to watch it as much as I want to. Not to mention, there was times where I missed the episode and, well, Cartoon Network made it hard as hell to watch it again. You know, that's the messed up part. It's like, yeah, I get it, DC Nation, only on Saturdays. But it's like, yeah, but I missed it, so can you give me another time where I can watch it? And thank goodness there were some episodes that were online. Not with their permission. And one that I definitely needed to watch was the whole planet that was a prison, you know? But hey, I, for like a few of them, for the first time ever, I got to watch it without having like some issue of all oh, damn it so cool but we have some new freaking stuff to talk about it on it so previously when it came to young justice and um green lantern animated series well apparently it's like more to the story than you think at first, it was the fact of, oh my gosh, we drew in too many adults. We have no idea how to sell it to adults. But not only adults, which technically, even in Young Justice, they actually had the part of where teenagers were watching it. Yes, well, adults, teenagers, that's not their freaking demographic. They want boys. But girls were watching it too. And apparently, girls were watching Green Lantern anime series as well. And it's kind of funny listening that someone actually did talk about it. And again, Cartoon Network is a complete idiot. But now they reform being like, we're doing superhero girls now. And it's like, yeah, for girls, definitely for girls. It's like, oh, well, couldn't you have done that in the freaking damn first place? You know, it's like if one show's not going to get you what you want, then the other show sure will. But of course, their problem with all of this, all of the shows that they canceled was that they couldn't merchandise it. That they were saying, oh, girls won't buy action figures. Girls don't do that type of thing. So girls are not profitable. Even though it's like, but why can't they think? I mean, purses, shirts, pencil cases, stuff like that. And they were like, no, 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 no. And oh yeah, I forgot to mention the part of, apparently when it came to Mattel. Oh wait, that was for Young Justice. Yeah, because Green Lantern Animated Series, I don't think they even got to the point of where they were making toys. But most likely Mattel was a part of this, where Mattel was going to make the Green Lantern Animated Series toys too. And I think technically they did, I just didn't. So, either way, it's like they got screwed over and, well, Mattel is kind of stupid. They're in, still in the Stone Ages, technically. I mean, think about it. The Young Justice toys suck. They were way too back in the 90s when it comes to those toys. Heck, I think even Bandai is screwed too. It's like Bandai does good with Power Rangers, but they pass those on. Bandai is doing kind of good with Dragon Ball Z. But they also are giving Miraculous a try too. And Miraculous is kind of cheaply made. It's not as made as much as Power Rangers is. They're cheaply making Miraculous as much as they could. It's like I had a chance to buy a Miraculous toy for four bucks, but it looked too kind as if it could break on you. You know, the hands itself looked like as if it could break. It's like, geez, couldn't we, couldn't you make your a little bit more fitter? You know, 
It's like, she's not that fragile, okay? <laughs> uh, but as for Green Lantern, it sucks that it's not back yet. I really hope that the push will bring it back because they got Greg Wiseman on their team now. They brought Greg Wiseman back, so I'm pretty sure they could easily get the Green Lantern animated series back on track. I hope they could. The only messed up part is like the voice actors, but I'm pretty sure they could easily just have it back again. And I really would love it, and it would be great. Josh Keaton, I don't think, is doing much these days, even though he hasn't made a video on his private YouTube channel. But even so, it's like, I'm pretty sure he would be up for the task. 